Susan Food Fitness back in the Rowan Room uh, for a 50 minute workout. So we'll be doing warm up, we'll have a technical focus as we go throughout, then we'll gradually increase the power as we go. Um, so anytime you need to stop, have a rest, do what's comfortable for you, then go ahead. Any questions, drop me a line. A bit hard for me to see the screen um, where I'm sitting, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and if in doubt, sit it out and get medical advice if you, you need to. But as I say, um, this is adaptable for, for any level. I'll give alternatives as we go. So grabbing the handle, I've got my drag on 120, so between the four and the five on the side. Um, handle in the fingers, thumbs underneath, flat wrists, sitting right on top of those sit bones and sitting back at that 11 o'clock angle and starting off with that usual warm-up hip drill. So arms only, keep sitting tall the whole time. So much better to work on holding that posture, that strong body position, rather than putting as hard as you can and yanking yourself around. So nice, still body position. A little squeeze of the shoulder blades. And adding in the body swing. Um, body, body, arms. That's it. So thinking more about the abs and lats today. So feel those abs brace. It touches you change direction, support that swivel back. Also thinking about the lats, the latissimus full side, the big muscles round both sides of your back. You know, press down on the hand slightly, get more connection. Okay, next strip, half slide, let go. Arms, body, legs, legs, body, arms. So holding those knees down. So the handle is past the knees. You want to keep those kneecaps firmly in place, preferably. Easier at low rate. You start going high rate and then bashing your knees, you're going to know all about it. And next stroke, we're going to come up to full slide. Go. Arms, body, legs. Legs, body, arms. Good, keep that core firm at the catch. Those abs specifically. Pressing down on the handle. Here, with straight arms, feel those lats engage. My 20 minute technical video today. It's number three. Um, we go into a lot more detail about engaging the lats and the abs. And have a look if you're not sure about what your lats are doing. Bring them up here. Okay, we'll do 10 firm strokes for 820. Go. So pushing just a bit harder, no more than half pressure. Gonna warm up from the other end, so helping keep the focus on getting that body position set. So arms away, body over. I'm just gonna swing from the hips from that 11 o'clock to one o'clock position. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, film yourself, look in the mirror. What we think we're doing, we're not always quite doing our body. If your hamstrings are a bit tight, and you can only get as far as midday, that's fine. Just be consistent. And all of us should keep stretching, help that hamstring flexibility. Okay, and pausing at bodies over, coming forward to the catch. I'm just gonna move back and forward with no pressure. Just making sure we're keeping 
that body still. Okay, now we're going to put some connection between us and the machine. So brace the abs and press down on that handle. That's it, just a little bit coming from the shoulders and the lats. The arms stay straight. Feels a bit strange, but it makes the point about connecting the upper body to the machine and supporting that leg drive. Keep the body forward. Press the legs, press down on the handle. Pushing back a bit further. Still keep a bend in the knee as you drive back. So usually this is where the body here would start to open up. We keep it forward and going back to completely flat legs, exaggerating that leg drive. Okay, then bring in the body swing. Go in the normal place. So before the legs are flat, start pressing, uh, sorry, start swinging the body back. And bring in the arms, full slide now. That's it, full stroke, leg, body, arms. Hand up that handle. Keep that body forward. Do the best part of the drive. Okay, we do 10 final strokes, weight 22. Go. That leg. My leg, I mean, keep the body forward. Let the legs drive as long as they can before the body swings back, before the legs start to flatten. And lighter for a few. Keeping it technical the whole time. Just because we back off pressure doesn't mean we back off technique. Another 10 at 24. Go. So building over one or two. That's it. 24. Another five. Keep those hands moving around the finish. Arms away, body over glass. Two more, one, two, and down. Okay, we're going to do an extended warm up now. So, lots of time to um, get the thoughts on the lats and the length of the strokes so that arms, body hold and then pressing on the lats and the abs as we drive back. So the legs can really do their thing before the body takes over. So that's the, where the length is, leg length, arms and body, so stretching that stroke out. Um, so lots of time to um, consolidate, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so we're gonna do 12 minutes, um, half pressure, I really mean half pressure, fight that temptation to hammer it straight away. Um, three minutes for eight, 18, three minutes for eight, 20, three minutes 18, three minutes for eight, 20. Um, so we can go off the just row or set our screens for other things later. Keep it technical. Okay, so zero the just row. And so we're ready at the catch. On top of half slide, that's generally how I like to start. So body forward. First thing we do, brace the abs, press the handle, and press the legs. Ready, row. And building. Over three or four strokes to 18. Half pressure. So you should feel that resistance. But know that it's sustainable for a long time, way more than the 12 minutes that we're doing. If you're Struggling for breath by the end of this, you have pushed too hard. So, heart pressure you should be able to speak medium ish sentences without too much of a problem. Okay, 
Okay, so I'll move into that right now. Rhythm set. Rotating. Two more minutes. Rotating. Loads of time to get that separation sorted. That arms, body, legs. And lots of time to think about the unfurling of the stroke, legs to the body, to the arms. Arms, body, legs. Legs, body, arms. A little bit of overlap between each. Keeping it long and flowing. Another minute, rotating. So as we go, um, like I said, this is like an extended warm up. It takes a good 15, 20 minutes to get fully warmed up with running. Probably with the most sport. So you may find that whilst you're applying the same effort, your body's kicking in a bit more effectively. And with the same effort, your split actually improves. That's fine. That's part of the process. Don't, just don't let it improve by 30 seconds or so. That would be too much. So mine's gone down from I know, 233 to 222-ish. Half pressure, rate 18. Okay, next stroke. Taking it up to rate 20, go. Three minutes. Same half pressure. Just because the rate's coming up doesn't mean we press harder. So experiment with that if you need to. Your split will automatically go down when you press the same. For the sake that you're getting two extra strokes in a minute, so that speed you up a touch. But in general, your split should be, I don't know, four or five seconds quicker than it was at rate 18. Again, if it's gone down by 20 seconds, probably too much, or you were uh, going too easy in half pressure. new to rowing, you're building up a picture of what split you should hold at what rate, at what time, and in what intensity, then use this to play around a bit. Just so at this point you should not be completely out of breath. Half pressure, rate 20, keep sitting up, Good. Finishing that stroke on top of those sit bones. Ready to recover. Arms, body, legs. Okay, so next minute, I'm going to focus back on those abs and lats. So bracing those abs is just pre change direction there. Brace. That's it, you've got to keep sitting up to do it. You don't need to be rigid like a board, but know that your posture is engaged. That posterior chain will work for you rather than you working against it. Okay, so that's the abs. I'll bring that focus to the lats. Next one, press down a little bit on that handle. Straight arm, press. Try and keep that down in pressure as you drive back. Feel that connection. That's it. Sorry, I'm, I'm 
rates drop by one, so back up to 20 here. In a moment, we'll bring it back down to 18. On the recovery, don't let the power drop off entirely. This one down, stretch it out, relax. Straight back into it. You should at least be at the split you had before for 818. Or, as we're now a bit more warmed up, uh, it may be slightly quicker. So if you were at 222, 818, for the first three minutes, you might be at 220, 219 now. Rhythm. A nice solid 18. If your weight's jumping around a bit, and uh, just focus on your rhythm rather than how um, fast you're going with that split. Control the weight, then focus on the power. The certain external power will affect your rhythm. We don't focus too much on exact numbers. To start with, if you look at that rate, rate routine. Drive, glide, drive, glide. And then you can gradually add a bit more power if you need to. Our last minute, this stroke, the right hip team, keep sitting tall. And back on those abs and lats, check that they're working fully. It's easy for them to check out. Raise that lower core as if you're about to lift a heavy load. So you squat it down, you've got your straight back. Embrace that body before you lift that heavy load up. So for us, we're lifting it and we're pushing it back. Same principles in terms of engaging those tummy muscles. Brace. You're going to have to keep them on the whole of that right phase. Steady lift. Next stroke, back to rate 20. Go. Three minutes. Should be feeling really warmed up now. So that rate 20 split may be better again than before, despite you pushing with the same head.
lats as well. Abs and lats. Press down on that handle with straight arms. Keep that body forward here. work. You know, hopefully that was fairly consistent with those numbers, the rates and the power as we went up and down. Or consistent for each three minute section, I should say. Okay, so obviously I can still talk. I'm talking a lot. Um, but that was hard pressure. I'm able to carry on talking. Um, obviously some deeper breaths to keep going. Um, but that's a good indication of hard pressure. Right, so body weight exercises, getting uh, some of the other muscles that Rowan doesn't, not many there, but um, uh, we'll get to them. So we're going to do 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to start with squat thrusts. So these ones, um, squat thrusts, lunge in place. Dropping that back knee, keeping the head and chest up. Good mornings, soft knees, hinging from the hips, keeping the shoulders back. And then inchworm, walking it out to a plank position. Raise each foot and walk it back. Okay, so 40 seconds of each. Are you ready? And go. Trying to keep those shoulders over those wrists for this one. That's halfway. Keep it going. Go at your own pace, whatever you need to do. Ten more seconds. Squeeze one more in. Okay, oh, that's good for the heart rate. Okay, into lunges. So five more seconds. One foot in front of the other. Keep that head and chest up and go. So drop that back knee. Don't let the front knee go beyond the toe. Keep down as low as you can comfortably go. So challenge yourself a bit. Okay, and change size. So lunging in place, great option if you have knee issues and jumping, doing jump lunges or step lunges are uncomfortable. Okay, this, even if this bothers your knees, march on the spot, just keep moving. And stop there. Okay, good mornings. Get the right position. So soft knees, feet shoulder width apart, and pin the shoulders back. And we're going to hinge from the hips, coming to parallel with the floor, or stop as soon as those shoulders start coming forward. So keep them back. If you stop there, that's fine. Squeeze your glutes as you stand up. Go. Okay, another 40 seconds. Control on the way down, keep those shoulders back. So obviously, as we stand up and squeeze the glutes, we're thinking of the back end of the drive. 
as the body opens. Accelerating, open. Again, using those glutes to help. We'll do loads more glutes in weeks to come. Big muscle group, really hold the row. Last 10 seconds. So keep that hinging, be disciplined with it. If you're not sure about your posture, you have a look in the mirror or film yourself. Okay, and inchworm. So walking it out, keep that tummy button up. And if you can, raise one foot, then the other, come back. Just as a little bit of difficulty, if you want to walk out beyond the plank, we'll make it harder as well. Have a go, keep it safe. That's it, a little bit of challenge each time, but don't overdo it. Ten more seconds. Okay, well done. Right, take a seat again. Whoop, there we go. And we are going to do eight minutes next. Upping the intensity. If you're ready for that, if not, keep it hard pressure, keep it technical. Still lots of work to be done with that um, upper body. If you're happy to take up the power, we're going to do eight minutes, uh, two minutes at half pressure, rate 20, then six minutes, three quarter pressure. <clears throat> so again, we'll just go off the just row. Okay, building over three, firm core, uh, brace nose abs, ready, row. The first few strokes in particular. Raise the core. Okay, now that fan has got its momentum. Still keep those abs working. Nice quiet minute there, just to get into rhythm. Great 20, consistent power. Long strokes. More. Then we're going to increase that power. And hear a bigger noise from the fan. We're going to see more ratio. More speed on the drive. More time on the recovery. Keep that rate 20. Even though our split will tell us we're going faster. This straight. Twenty straight away, line that up a little bit, slowing that slide, and back to twenty. So I've taken about seven or eight seconds of my half pressure. Establish that rhythm now. Make sure that's what I can hold. 
for a call time. So we're into that three quarter pressure rhythm now. Got our rate, got our split. Let's focus on that technique now. Setting up for the finish. On top of those sit bones. Body over. Keep holding those knees down. Your hands are past the knees. We're about halfway through now. Focusing on that body angle forward. Swing back, swing forward. Set up that one o'clock angle. Keep it still. Completely still. No lunging at the catch. And collapsing. Good. Keeping it steady. All the way forward. Building that power. Every stroke. We're building that fitness. That endurance. Try and keep that split consistent. And still build, building your pacing. Be decisive about changes. If you set off too hard, and you can barely even say a word. Drop that pressure a bit. If you feel like you've got to walk in the park, drive it harder. Okay, we're going to drive harder by keeping the abs on. Brace, press. 40 strokes to go, just under. Press down on the handle, long arms, lats on. Hand. Keep on burning that strength. Legs to the body to the arms. No rush. To swing open. Legs and body. Push, swing, pull. So big squeezes on those finishes. Keep it going. Power through. Last ten. We've got this. Drive it. That's it. Keep it looking good. And down. 
Okay, good work. You should definitely feel, feel warm by now. Now take some deep breaths. Have a drink. I fear I've not been drinking enough throughout the day today. I've been um, more thirsty than I should. So always have your bottle with you. Fill up, obviously, reusable bottle if you can. Um, so when you come to these longer pieces, you're not gasping too much. Okay, so that's eight minutes done. Um, <clears throat> got 14 minutes left. So we're going to do another set of these exercises. So squat thrust, lunge in place, good mornings, and inchworm with uh, heel raise. And then we'll do a short bit of full pressure. So gradually building up to that full pressure stuff. Okay, so 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay. <laughs> right, getting ready. Go. So do a nice squat for us. If that's feeling too hard, then just step one at a time. Halfway. Last ten seconds. Keep it going. And not forget. And into those lunges. Ooh, Twenty seconds at each side. Go. Drop that back knee. Head and chest up, toes pointing forward. Oh, I think we should have a bit of a longer rest of that one, never mind. Make sure we get the next one, change size. Drop that back knee. That's it. A little bit of glute action, help stand yourself back up. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and good mornings, good afternoons, arms crossed, feet shoulder width apart, soft knees, and then shoulders back, hinge from the hips, squeeze the glutes to stand up. So going forward as far as you can without the shoulders being pulled forward, squeeze those glutes, think about the back end of that drive, squeeze the glutes, hinge the hips open. Ten more seconds. Okay, and inch to finish. Keep that tummy button up to that spine. Oh, keep that rest. Three, two, one, go. So walk it out as far as you can. Heel, heel, walk it back. Halfway. Last five seconds. Let's finish this last one. Great, well done. Okay, sitting down again. And we're going to set our screens up for this one. So we are going to do um, one minute full pressure, one minute light. So nice, gentle-ish introduction to full pressure. So activate the screen, select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time. And then it's already on one minute for time. Press the button next to that top arrow. Move across to set rest time, and the zero under set rest time is flashing. Uh, press 
the button next to the press key, so I've got one minute time, one minute rest, and press the button next to that tick in the box. Okay, strap the feet in, get hold of the handle slowly. You don't set that timer off. Okay, so we're going to take the rate up with each one of these. So one minute rate 20, full pressure, one minute um, light pressure, low rate. So we're just going to keep moving until the next one. <clears throat> okay, sitting ready. And row. We're going to build, brace that core, build, keep the control, build the go, so take a few strokes to get all of that, full pressure. Keep it technical. Sitting up, really feel that leverage, rest. Lips. Keep that body forward. Last ten. Big drive. Next body. Big body swim. Be patient with it. Maximize those strokes. Pressure. We really like hands. We play the piano. Recovery if you know you've been holding on for dear life and your forearms are beginning to feel like they're half the size. This is where you relax. Try and build that muscle memory of hooking the handle rather than that vice grip. Obviously, the harder you press, and the faster the rate goes, the harder it is to control those things. So you use that recovery to try and re-emphasize it. Long arms, long loose levers. Even though we're going like video, you want to try and make it look effortless by looking relaxed. Because we are relaxed, kind of. Rate 22, coming up. This one, go, full pressure. Building again. Each stroke. Let's try and beat that split from the full. Nice and springy. Use that extra rate. More momentum. Same length. Same power. Pressure, low rate. We're not going to worry about connection with this recovery. Your abs and lats can have a rest. But try and keep the sequence correct. Arms, body, legs, legs, body, arms. The last piece is going to be rate 24. And then we'll cool off and have a bit of time for stretching. Last bit of work for the day. Now don't hold back, keep it technical, make it look good. Build those muscles in the right way. Okay, five more seconds. Next stroke, off we go. Build, rate 24. Power and rate. Find those numbers. Uh, 
That's it. Big squeeze. Wind it down, again, low rate, low pressure, keep it technical. Finishing, rowing the way we want to carry on next time. Okay, we'll finish this minute, cool down, and then stretch. I hope it's still feeling good. Again, if you think of any questions while you're going, drop me a line. Play Fitness UK on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, okay, another drink if you haven't already. Okay. Okay, I hope you're feeling amazing. So really let those muscles relax now. Bring your arm across the front, hold above the elbow. That stretch back of the shoulder. Okay, and change arms. Screen off. Okay, and tricep stretch, reach up, so you can't see that, and down, and just press that elbow gently. And let's do that stretch on that tricep there. And the belt is going to It's quite obvious, but sometimes the visual of what you need when you're completely out of energy. So pressing down gently on that elbow, feeling that stretch on the tricep. All that hanging off the lats. Okay, good. Okay, so, um, hip flexor stretch next. Take a step forward and make sure you've got space behind you. Step back onto your toe, arms up, and just press that hip forward gently. You can see the press it for you and feel it. Keep squeeze a little bit. That's it. Keep it pressing. Keep it gentle. And step forward and step back. That's it, other side. Nice deep breaths. And step forward and core stretch, heels bum, knees together. Press the hips forward again if you need a bit more stretch down the front of the thigh there. Change sides. Good, nice quad stretch. Sorry, I came up into my zone there. What happens after a big workout? Okay. And then sitting down on the mat. Legs out straight in front. Sit up and reach towards your toes. Nice deep breaths. Your legs relax, let those cords that are being contracted so much relax. Gently stretch those hamstrings. Okay, and we could hold it longer, but we're coming to the end of our session, so we'll do one for the, the lats and the back. So onto all fours and sit back on those heels, forehead to the ground. Feel that nice stretch on the lats. And 
and back onto all fours, into the cat, round the back, tilt the pelvis under, and then tilt the other way, look up, tilt the knees up into the cow. Nice deep breaths in. And you can repeat that, and then come back to neutral, up onto toes, walk your toes to your hands, let your arms hang, stand up vertebrae at a time, more on belly. That's it. Roll those shoulders. Well done. Thank you, everyone. Have a super rest of your day.